All right, you guys. Um, today I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 9. Now, this is a tutorial on how to get rid of that blur effect when you're changing the frames per second on a video. So let's say you're filming a movie and your camera only records, let's say, 30 or 60 frames per second. And when you put it into your editing software, in this case, Sony Sony Vegas Pro, you want to change it to 24 frames per second in order to give it that film look. So basically. Logic th logical thing you would do is select your video, you know, go to properties, and have the frame rate at 24 where it says film right here. So that's good and all. So as you can see here, the video is playing fine in the preview, right? So let's. Yes, it looks fine on the preview. But once you render it out, so here's the first render and test one. Let's get a pan right here. Let's play it. It has that blur effect. Have you noticed? It's mostly present in movies or videos that have a lot of motion in it. So you don't really get that clear and clarity of like a regular film. So how do you get rid of that? That's simple. All you have to do is disable a feature or option. So whatever video you're editing, just select it. Okay. In this case, this is the video we're working on. Go to edit. Switches. And make sure you disable resample. Anytime you're changing the frames per second, you need to do that in order to give it that blur effect. For some reason, I don't know why it does that. Maybe there's some technical reason, I'm not sure, but this feature turning off works fine. And you hear my dogs parking in the background. But, yes. I, guess I heard someone calling me. No, no one's calling me. Anyways, <laughs> yes, that feature works. And unfortunately, you have to do that for every video clip you're going to be working on if you want to get rid of that blur effect. So after we've done that, and we go play our video, let's go to it. Here's the test too. You see that blur effect is no longer there. So it's all good now. So especially if you're doing you know gameplay videos or something like that with a lot of motion in it, and you want to give it a film look, this is the way to go. So that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry for the lack of videos. I'm not sure what to do in terms of videos yet, but you know, give me a few days, I'll figure it out. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching.